Joe Lizio, uh, who is our gracious host. He said it earlier, but yep, yep. Joe said it earlier, this came together, the wedding being here in a wonderful uh, Italian v villa at, at my brother's funeral. And that comes full circle for me because Brendan is like my little brother. So although I lost mine, Cheers. Cheers. he's still with me and he's with everybody here. Brendan is my little brother. And Kaylee, when you're around, the world is better. What we do for the ones we love. Yeah. You have literally taught me so much in ways that I can't explain. You've taught me how to love, how to say I love you. And Brendan, you are the most perfect match for Kaylee. Love we do for the ones we love. I'd like to ask you to all close your eyes and take a deep breath and bring your awareness into your heart. Think about why you traveled so far to be here. Let yourself feel how much you love and care for Brendan and Kaylee. Think about what this day means for them as they begin this new chapter of their lives. And now take all of those good feelings that you've conjured up and send them out into this space, welcoming them. The start of us was Thanksgiving Eve 2016 at Mulcahy's, just like any good one to a couple. So I was on the dance floor, uh, Brendan came over, him and his brother were dancing. I remember going to my brother Danny and being so one time and saying, you know, I just think I'd be really, really happy if I dated Kaylee Young. It was like, hey, I'm uh, like, I, I kind of really like Kaylee. Like I'm thinking like, I, I, I want to date her. I want to be my girlfriend. I want to do this. And I was like, uh, Brent, um, you little bro. I got your back no matter what. I love you. But if you screw this one up, even I'm going to have a problem with you. <laughs> Kaylee. Brendan knew you were right for him because there was something about the way you made him feel when he was with you that he had never felt before. Anyone who's met her and been around her, she just has this aura of like, she just brings happiness to people. You watch all these things come at her, you know, all these obstacles, all these things, and you look at her and you're like, how does this girl still show up, smile at every party, do things for other people, bring them? It's like, it's hard to fathom. <laughs> Brendan, Kaylee knew you were the one for her when she saw firsthand how you treated your mom, your dad, and your siblings with so much love. I think it's really rare that people at a young age talk so highly of their siblings and parents, and that was something that is like one of my core values. So I, I like definitely had feelings for Brendan as soon as I knew that he felt the same way that I did about my family for his. When we lost our beautiful mom, Kaylee had no choice but to grow up fast. She had to take care of me. She took over my mom's business. On top of everything, she somehow had to juggle college. 
the last time we were in Fort Lauderdale with my dad, when he was starting to get really sick, me and him were just giggling away on the lounge chairs on the beach, and he turned to me and he got really serious. He asked me if I would want Kaylee to take care of me if anything were to happen to him. When I was ready to answer, I said, of course. Because my dad knew she could. I knew she could. And let me tell you, she freaking did. <laughs> to my boy Brendan. I, I struggle with trying to do this because I've never had to describe because anyone that's ever been around you knows immediately what you are. Your energy, your just your drive, your everything you have about you. Having Brendan Fowler as your oldest brother, it's, it's I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through it, I'm gonna get through it. Brendan, I love you so much and I can't wait to spend forever with you. We've already had an amazing couple of years together. We're going to build an amazing future, an amazing family. You are my once in a lifetime love and we're going to have the most amazing life together. I know you're going to be the best wife and the best mom ever. I can't wait to finally see you in this dress. See you soon. I love you. to meet you. May the wind always be at your back, the sunshine warm upon your face, the rain fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. Kaylee. I can't put into words how happy I am to be standing with you here in front of our friends and family at this incredible villa. It truly is a perfect, beautiful setting for the most beautiful girl in the world. I love the way you make me feel with your amazing smile and a big hug when I walk through the door after a long day at work or a trip away. I love our nights on the couch with a bottle of wine and our walks down to the beach at sunset. I love doing all the little things in life with you, and I'm so happy we'll be doing them forever. I promise I will always be there for you, our future children, Christian and Kira, for anything you guys need. I know there will be tough days, but I promise to keep you smiling and laughing no matter what life throws at us. I promise to always love your small dogs and to let them sleep in the bed, Sometimes. <laughs> I promise to try to be patient when we are getting ready to go out. <laughs> and to always let you warm your freezing feet up on my body under the covers at night. <laughs> I promise to always keep life fun. But most of all, I promise to love you for the rest of our lives. As much as I do right now at this beautiful Tuscan villa, with all of our favorite people in the world. Close to me, close to me, oh close to me. When I don't have the words to breathe. Bren, I always dreamt of having a love like my parents had. A love like theirs was happy, pure, and a once in a lifetime kind of love. My mom once told me the importance of writing down a list of things that I wanted in my soulmate. I found the list I wrote back in 2012. Someone who is kind, loves his mom and his family, loves me the way my dad loved my mom, has the qualities of being a great dad, and lastly, taller than six foot. I left this one slide. <laughs> After 
after losing both my parents to cancer, I thought I would never be the same. I thought my life would always be too much for someone to handle. However, we took on the challenges that life threw our way and held my hand through it all. Whenever I am down, you lift me up by saying, we're teammates and I've got your back. I know for sure that you are going to be the greatest husband and dad on earth and I'm so excited to build a family with you. I am so thankful that on Thanksgiving Eve in 2016, <laughs> the stars aligned and brought us together on the dance floor of Mulcahy's. Close to me, close to me, oh close to me. What if I, I wish my parents were physically here today. My mom would have loved you and I already know how much my dad admired you. All who know me know I can be a little indecisive at times, but the one decision that is the easiest one for me to make is spending the rest of my life with you. The butterfly, a delicate symbol of freedom, hope, and soul transformation was always special to Kaylee's mom, Beth. And after she passed, they became the way she let us know that she was near. There are some who bring a light so great to the world that even after they have gone, their light remains. Keith and Beth left that light. Brendan and Kaylee, I have the pleasure of pronouncing you husband and wife. Brendan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> It is my honor to officially present to you Mr. and Mrs. Fowler. Rising sun hits the sky, see it open before us. Take these hopes, hold them high, every step takes you closer. anything for mom and dad to be here with us today and for you but I know they are smiling down on you and are so proud of you for finding your person that makes you the happiest <laughs> <laughs> 